Oh my goodness, guys, my dog keeps staring me down. She wants to go for a walk, but it's cold here in Indiana. And I'm like, girl, you gotta, you know, I don't wanna freeze your paws off, you know what I mean? I mean, I know she likes the walks, but I'm like, oh, dilemma, right? What do you do? What do you do? I'd suck it up to go for a walk, but I don't know if my fingers are getting cold. Her little paws are gonna get cold. But boy, she looks so pitiful when she looks at me. I'm like, oh, Jackie, don't. <laughs> Jackie, don't. <laughs> oh, y'all, for some reason, I'm drawn to the zombie tarot deck. Okay. Let's say I'm pull some cards from here and clarify with the little guys. Okay. Let's see what's up, guys. Spirit, obviously, you got something to say. What's the message today, guys? What's the message? What's the message? Ooh, I ask that the powers of be watch over me during this reading. Y'all know how I see and read. Please help me interpret these cards as you see fit. Ooh. I ask for the protection of my ancestors, the divine Archangel Michael and his army of angels. Send your love and protection to anyone that watches this video. That are living in the well, no, they say for everybody. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Okay, Spirit, what have we got? What message do you want to get out? How do you want me to do it? Okay. Someone's got to get over their addictions, okay? Someone's got some addictions. Maybe this person's in rehab, or they're slowly moving away from their addictions. Someone definitely got to get their ass clean, okay? Now, it's depicted in this card with the needle. This could be alcohol. This could be sex. This could be overspending, overeating, anything that you're addicted to. But, you know, nowadays, that syringe. Ugh. You know, I can't even tell you how many times I went home with a doctor or a lawyer and they pulled out a fucking crack pipe or some shit, okay? you want to talk about daddy getting the fuck out of dodge it's like you don't know okay you truly do not know who gets into some of this shit okay guys so ace of cups and the seven of cups someone is so in their head about a love offer oh my god they just can't get it out of their head They just can't get it out of their head. You know, in one aspect, it kind of brings them joy, but in the other one, it's just chaotic. And you see all these people kind of around there. It's like they got too many people in their head telling them what the fuck to do. They need to be like this bitch over here and just think for themselves, right? Mm-mm-mm. Yeah, three of cups in the in, in reverse here. We probably have a marriage relationship that's gone to shit because someone was cheating. And you know, with him, with him carrying her, I almost feel like the dude's gonna drop the woman. Okay, guys, that's that's the thought I get on that. Like some dude is gonna drop some bitch and just like, bye, I'm gone, I'm done. Perhaps that's what they're in their head about, right? What they need to decide is really true love. Because maybe there's just a lot of addictions here, right? Maybe there's some chemical substances or something that keeps two people bound together. You know? They share the same... Uh, they share the same... Uh, what am I trying to say? Addiction, their bond... Their bond is through their addiction. That's where their bond is. Very toxic. Because we got a masculine here that's working on fixing himself. But you know what? He's kind of the typical dumb male. Don't know about shit about dealing with his emotions. He's got his tools and shit out there trying to fix himself. But he ain't doing much of a fucking job. It's like, buddy, hmm, that drill ain't going to help you. That's really going to help you in this situation. Hmm. Okay, Spirit, I'm going to pull three. Then we'll throw the little ones. Seven of Hazards, Seven of Pentacles, Eight of Hazards. 
Wow, seven of swords in reverse. So we got a progression here. Seven of hazards into the eight of hazards. Oh, oh, sweet Jesus. Yeah. <laughs> you know, depicting on these cards, it looks like someone was trying to manipulate this woman, but it looks like in the end, they ended up being the one that's in the specimen jar. <laughs> right? A scientist there trying to manipulate that woman behind the glass to experiment on her. Well, it looks like at the end of the day, he was actually the experiment. Yeah, so something didn't work out for somebody. And then we got the Seven of Swords here in reverse. This is some sneaky fucking behavior, right? But I love how it's depicted on this card. You see that fine-ass bitch up there? She got a gun in her hand. She done kicked that man down them fucking steps. She don't care. Sell them people at the bottom. Someone could be dealing with a very abusive female or just a badass bitch that dresses good, knows how to use a gun, and ain't afraid to uh, kick a motherfucker with a Louboutin. Do you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. She's like, yeah, come at me, motherfucker. But she got to respect anyone that has a red foyer, right? Mm. And that's a beautiful staircase. Hmm. And these zombies at the bottom all look shocked like she's done this, right? But this is in reverse. So maybe someone's trying to get out of dealing with a toxic relationship. Because, yeah, I think someone was playing around with someone with some mind games. But at the end of the day, it ended up fucking with them, right? The scientist became the uh, fucking uh, guinea pig. The lab rat. <laughs> I'm loving that energy, guys. Oh, the fuck that ain't you all, but, you know, who knows? Who knows, you know, when them fucking, uh, when them tables get turned, when them tables get turned, that can be a motherfucker for some people. You know, like when the player gets played, when the crook gets crooked. You know what I mean? Oh, they don't like it. It's a whole nother game. It's a whole nother game. Spirit, throw me down some freaking cards on this shit. I'm liking that energy, though. Yeah, that was someone in the past trying to, uh, it's like they're trying to manipulate experiment with this bitch, but at the end of the day, they're the one that's in the fucking specimen jar. <laughs> and they're the one that's actually gonna be observed and looked at, right? <laughs> like, oh, this bitch is crazy. Look at her behind there. We're going to manipulate her with some shit. And at the end of the day, it's like, oh, I think you're the crazy one. Sweet Jesus. Oh, th throw me some cards on here, guys. Throw me some cards. What do we got for the seven of hazards, huh? What do we got for the seven of hazards, spirit? Y'all got, got anything to throw on this bitch? <laughs> Ooh, yeah, oh, something wanted to jump. I like the way that one jumped. Anything else, Spirit? Anything else on this? Anything else on this? Please and thank you. Please and thank you. No? We gonna keep it simple today? <laughs> I think maybe somebody tried to use some sex. Because this is the King of Rods in reverse, right? I think someone tried to manipulate somebody with some sex, but that shit didn't work. It didn't work or it backfired on him, right? <laughs> and, you know, I got to say, with, with this reading coming up the way it is, you know, King of Rods in reverse could mean someone's rod ain't working. Woo! Maybe they caught something and it, it just quit working or they just can't get it up anymore, right? Oh, sweet Jesus. What's this Ada Hazards about? Oh, we had, we had some shit flip in the deck there. What do we got? Is that all of y'all? What do we got in this deck? Oh, yeah. Here we go. Now someone's in their head. We got the lovers. The devil in reverse. Oh, the six of cups in reverse. The fool in reverse. And the sun in reverse. Oh, sweet Jesus. Look at this shit. Yeah. King of Rods here. Trying to manipulate somebody in the past, right? Kind of control them. Thinking they could digmatize this bitch. Ooh, look at my dick. Look, I promise you this. I promise you that. Oh, look, look, look at what I got. Look at what I got. Oh, but at the end of the day, guess what? Ooh, the lovers here. Yeah, they had some emotion for somebody, but you know what? 
That shit turned toxic. With the devil in reverse, the six of cups. This was, you know, they wanted to come in. Normally, it's the knight of rods. It's the player energy. But I think this king of rods really thought they were the master of the game. But in the end, it was actually dealing with someone that they really ended up, really ended up fucking falling in love with. They ended up liking this person. But they ended up fucking themselves up by it, you know. Them trying to control this person ended up fucking with them in the end. And now they can't take a leap of faith to get their happiness, right? Because now they're on display and everyone's watching and looking at them, right? Everyone's examining them. Like, yeah, they were watching this bitch in the past that they were trying to manipulate with this rod, right? Oh, but presently, whew, them tables been turned. Now everyone's looking at them and they want to go towards who they want. But they can't. Perhaps while... He was fucking around with this woman and trying to tantalize or tease or whatever the fuck he was doing. He actually caught some feelings. Cause said player getting played. Lord, what do we got of these seven of wands or seven of swords here? Obviously, it's some turmoil in a house, right? Two people in a home. Maybe someone's manipulation on another turn has turned fucking against them. Hmm. Could even be some domestic violence, guys. I hate to say that, but, you know, that bitch is pushing that man down the chair, uh, down the stairs, and she does have a gun in her hand. And she she means business. Because she, like, dressed to go out. She's like, mm-hmm, you think you gonna stop me, motherfucker? Mm-hmm. What, my gun don't take care of? My Louboutins will. So, mm-hmm. Say, little bitch, you can't fuck with me. If you wanted to, these expensive, these is red bottoms, these is bloody shoes. Because they got his blood on them. <laughs> bitch ain't lying. <laughs> bitch ain't lying. <laughs> Woo, Lord, I did see that Ace of Cups come out. Yeah, there's definitely no love here. Oh, people are growing, these two are growing impatient with each other. I think we got a couple. Ooh, Queen of Pentacles in reverse. There's a loss. Knight of Cups. Someone wants to come in with the love, though. What we got here? Four Swords in reverse. The Seven of Cups in the upright. The Hermit. Ooh, and Justice in reverse. Always lay these cards out and see what story we get. <sighs> well, you know what? Obviously, there ain't no love. And this, uh... This is like Queen of Pentacles is going to be taking a loss, right? Someone definitely needs, needs to do some healing here with the Temperance card in reverse and the Four Swords in reverse. Who? someone needs to go in and heal? He's going to have to pick his ass up after she, after she kicks his ass down them steps. Y'all see that? If he ain't dead, he's going to have to heal. He's going to be hurting. He's going to have to heal from this, right? Coming out of this relationship... Maybe that's what it is. Someone coming out of a relationship to go to who they want. But they're going to have to do some fucking healing because they're taking a hit, a loss. You know, someone's going to lose something. And this wasn't about love. Or maybe one was in love and the other one really wasn't. Because we got the seven of cups here in the hermit mode. Someone's been thinking about their options. They know where they want to go. And we have the lovers here. The lovers and the six of cups down here. Someone done fell in love with somebody. But, you know what? This Knight of Cups that wants to come in with an offer probably did somebody dirty with the Justice in Reverse. Right? Wants to come in with an offer, but you know what? With the Justice in Reverse, I think Karma might get somebody. I think Karma's a play here. I really do. I don't think they're going to get what they want, right? That might be why this Ace of Cups is in Reverse. It's like, that's your, that, that's your Karma, bud. You want to come in and make an offer of love? Well, you ain't going to get it. Because, you know, obviously there wasn't balance in this situation. Something wasn't right. Something wasn't right. Oh, you want this big old cup of love? But mm, look what's in between it. Someone's still thinking about their options. And we got a queen of pentacles. Some, some woman's going to take a financial loss. Okay, some woman's going to take a hit. Well, y'all... <laughs> Definitely needs to be some healing done. I'm liking this, though. You know, the tricks and games that somebody tried to play on somebody else to manipulate? 
has actually backfired on him. You know, think of this, you know, the, this, the, the, someone was just going to be tantalized by sex, like their fucking dick was just going to, ooh. <clears throat> but in the end, you know, maybe they ended up catching some feelings for somebody, but now they're on display, right? And they're not liking that. It's okay to do it to somebody else, but not when it happens to you. I didn't, you know, I can't help here at the Seven of Swords. Oh, I didn't realize that. We had two sevens. Seven, eight, seven. What is that? Uh, 14, 32. Twenty-two. Twenty-two, which goes down to four, yeah. Wow, guys. This is your reading. This is a heads up of what's going to happen. You know, this Knight of Cups wants to come in, make some love, make an offer of love. There's justice in the reverse. Someone's going to have to make shit right. You want to bring that offer of love, then you got to make some shit right because the universe ain't going to let you get by with this shit. I'm loving this energy, though. You know, you got to love it when people try to do fuckery and it turns around and ends up biting them in the ass. You got to love it because you know what? Done in the dark comes to light. Anything you do that's negative, it, uh, it, it going to come back to you. It's going to come back to you. You can't get away from that shit. You can't get away from that shit. Yeah, you might be able to do it for a while. But eventually, someone going to call your ass out on it. Or the good Lord up above is going to come in and call your ass out on it. Eventually, shit's going to blow up on you. It only worked for so long. And then, boom. I don't know. I'm kind of liking that, though. Woo! Started fucking around with somebody else and it turns right back on them. Peace, love, and light, guys.